NBC News World Headquarters in New York. This is NBC Nightly News with Brian Williams. Our final story tonight comes to us from the gigantic, largely uncharted rainforest in South America, the Amazon. It's filled with untold riches, exotic plants that are now at the heart of a search for what could be the next big breakthrough in medicine. But the search has now become kind of a race against time. The story tonight from our chief environmental affairs correspondent, Ann Thompson. This is the Amazon rainforest in Peru, home to the Shipibo Indians and their medicine chests. The Shipibo, who trace their history back to 800 BC, have no school. Chief Guillermo wants to build one by selling their medicinal plants to the natural products company NatureX. How did you find NatureX? On the internet. Yes, yeah. The chief sent an email and the company sent Chris Killam, a self described medicine hunter, a middleman between indigenous people and the multi billion dollar okay. herbal so supplement it's very, industry. Uh, it's rich, it's luxurious. And he has plenty to choose from. Here in the Peruvian Amazon, there are more than 25,000 different kinds of plants. The challenge is to find the one that could provide a viable income for this village. It is a primitive place. No electricity or running water. Killam preaches preservation, uh, well aware he could be seen as a bio pirate. And it's very important that we protect the forest in anything we do. That's not what you see along this river, where carcasses of giant trees line the banks because of logging. We're destroying the world's greatest pharmacy. And what these Shipibo think is their future. This could be one of those surprise plants that has cosmetic applications. That can be even more valuable than a medicine because cosmetic companies pay more, especially for products with compelling stories. It'll be a label claim, is really, you know, now with, with Reina Keo oil, you know, like, oh, what's that? You know, the secret, the secret healing skin empowering oil of the Amazon. Could we have found the fountain of youth in the Amazon? We have probably found the fountain of cosmetic cosmetic profitability. Nothing is certain yet. There are many months of research ahead. We won't let them down. You won't? No. Nope. How can you say that with such confidence? I won't let that happen. For now, Killam has given the Shipibos a dose of hope. Ann Thompson, NBC News, Chanahao, Peru.